Hi guys, welcome back to Musak's New World Empire channel and uh, of course today is another tutorial sponsored by one of our students. Uh, the topic for the day is uh, vibrato. So stay tuned and keep learning. Okay, vibrato, 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 everything that uh, we have to say about vibrato will be in this class. We've taught vibrato before in this channel, but uh it has never been this um you know we didn't go in depth so i have this student who was uh, asking me a lot of questions about uh, vibrato and i actually noticed that her vibrato is was like too fast and i asked her your vibrato is too fast and it doesn't bring out the beauty of vibrato and uh, i could describe uh, a, her vibrato like a vibrato that has to do with something an anxiety kind of vibrato have you heard people play sax and they have a battery like, the whole thing was just too fast and then i have i asked her to unlearn that kind of vibrato that is where i had to go depth into uh, explaining vibrato for her so that she can understand the dynamics and the different types of vibrato so in this class she asked me to do the class and uh, have everyone watch it on youtube and then of course the first person that will get the video will be her okay feel free to sponsor any of our videos contact us and then we'll let you know what it takes to kind of um sponsor um our video it's a kind of a partnership it's just like you're partnering with us to do more videos and put your put out there we can mention your name like my student that is sponsoring this video is pauline from uk if you don't want us to mention your name why not we can also uh keep it confidential but people out there know that what that's partnering with New World Empire to sponsor some of these classes that we put out there. Okay, in this class, we're talking about Vibrato. Here in New World is all about music. And the tongue skills more like the middle skills. You just have to move the fun and deep with your New World Empire. Now, there are a lot of, um, there are different types of vibrato, but before we talk about the types of vibrato, let's quickly look at the, what is vibrato. Vibrato is a wavy kind of sound that alternates between two notes. So, usually it's a mid-tone. So, if I have a do and I want to do a vibrato on do, I most likely have a tido 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 kind of so it's it's looking like if as if it's slurring slurring is just ta 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 like once but when it goes in a circle it starts going down circle you begin to have that is vibrato now. That already gives you what we call a wave. A wave goes, it gives, a wave is all about, it's part of music. Music, sound, every sound in physics has wave. What, give, what makes a sound low and another sound high is waves. So when, if you play and you're playing a sound and just going ta like that, you will not be able to what? It will not be so beautiful because this is not a musical, uh sound sound just don't just go pa but when you begin to have pa you begin to add beauty emotions and color to your tone the first thing that actually bring out the tone of a, of anybody playing saxophone is your vibrato yeah. this is a wave it goes that way and then if you have a mid center line the distance between here and here is what we call the amplitude and the distance between this highest point to this highest point like this or this lowest point to this lowest point is what wavelength so this usually if you have a balanced vibrato you most likely notice that your amplitude the distance between this amplitude 
and this amplitude and this amplitude will be the same. And this time between this wavelength, this wavelength will be the same as this length. That is a balanced vibrato. But some people, beginners, when they are playing vibrato, that will not give you the same distance. That means that kind of vibrato is not um, the same. But let's not do too much of physics. This is this is a music class. Um, I want to quickly tell you the types of vibrato because some people are going to just skip this video now and just talk about. Uh, um i know vibrato already but the different types of vibrato where you should apply it how you should apply a vibrato when should your vibrato be fast when should your vibrato be slow that is what we want to talk about in this class in fact there is a time you should not even apply vibrato and when you apply vibrato there are different types of vibrato and how you apply vibrato number one type of vibrato no let's start with the slow vibrato the slow vibrato has a high amplitude long wavelength usually this kind of vibrato goes like this that's how I demonstrate a slow vibrato This kind of vibrato is usually best for low notes and is also for long tones. Long notes. If we are going to draw a note for long, you most likely will apply a slow kind of vibrato. And if the note is on the low C or low D or those low, your vibrato should most likely fall on this arm. Um, categories now the next type of vibrato is number two the medium medium vibrato is everything is medium you know medium 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 uh, medium amplitude uh, just normal kind of uh, so give me an example of a medium vibrato you go like, what about the slow no, look at this now this the slow one is going like this the medium one is going and then the fast vibrato is that vibrato that is very fast now let's go that is the fast vibrato it's just something that goes like this so it goes kind of um very fast usually it's the opposite of this um slow. slow one that means the amplitude will be what will be low low amplitude short wavelength um what do you call it uh you use it more for what high. the high notes when you get to do and the re mi fa fa, you most likely will start going fast uh, vibrato. And then for uh, for short notes, short tones, you don't want. Even when it is low, let me give, let me quickly demonstrate. So now, let me really demonstrate this three and the difference. Now, if I'm on the slow vibrato, it's like this. But this as I was getting up. The speed of that vibrato began to increase to the medium. When I go to by now I begin to go to T and then it As I go, see, let us demonstrate this three vibrato use looking at the long notes. What did you notice? When I go, those passing ones that is just 
Ta -ra 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 -ra. You know, it's slow, it's yeah. short, short. You know, this was going on the fast. Yeah. Even that was on the low note, but because it is short, mm. the shorter note take I take over the whether it is on the low note or not. Or not yeah. oh. <laughs> I'm on the fast vibrato, even though I'm playing on the low mm. notes, because the notes are short. The song is fast. So if you don't do a fast vibrato, where you have short, short notes, mm -hmm. by the time you do how, how, the, yes. tone, the thing has finished. Yeah. So it has to be fast when you get to that point. So at the end of every line of song, mm. you most likely will have a, you know, a something that is sustained. So go. I went, I came back to the medium. Yeah. You also must know how to start a from the fast to the slow, from slow to the fast. Let's go there, sax. Pick your sax and let's go. You're going to be on this do. Start fast and then slow it down. Let's go. <laughs> Start slow and end fast. You get that? So that is what you will know. That's why you should practice if you are going to apply vibrato professionally. All right, so let's go ahead and practice with the metronome. I'm going to start from 60 and I'm going to go. I'll go. Start. I'm going to go two times in one um so let's go so go twice in in one beat so let's go Fast vibrato. There's an ultra fast vibrato. Ultra fast vibrato is the one I don't advise you should do. That one is like this. <laughs> That's the one my student was um came with. She already was playing that. So when he was playing vibrato, yeah. <laughs> I hear people play like this. <laughs> that is too fast. Especially, so, blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. it almost looks like someone is anxious or there's an anxiety somewhere. So, <laughs> that's too fast. That's right, but just on the medium and the fast vibrato. Medium for long notes, and you fast for what? Short notes. And then, but another exercise we're going to do is. We're going to practice a note without vibrato. It's okay. Don't also let vibrato to a fault that you cannot even decide that there's no vibrato. So it vibrates every time. No. Vibrato, you must control your vibrato. Now, Versa is going to play um, the same note very long. She will start with no vibrato. Towards the end, she will end in vibrato the way professional singers used to do. Let's go. You see that? So, she started with no vibrato and then towards the end. And So, I waited before I did, before I started doing um, vibrato, you know? So, you see, I'm controlling my vibrato. I sing, he knows when it should be slow, you know where it should be medium, you know where it should be fast. For example, if I want to go, what is everything that, that, uh, 
That do is fast. Then more do 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 more do do. So that is the dynamics that comes when you play vibrato. Don't just play vibrato because there's ah I cannot vibrate and vibrate. I'll be sounding even more amateur. Even though you can imagine I'm playing. That's too fast. That sounds amateur, isn't it? But if I'm going, see, do I know it's going to be a long me? So I have to slow it down, me. Nevertheless, I won't go. That will be too out of beat. It will be out of point. Yeah. So you see, the balance of battle is what you need. So. Sometimes you start fast and then you notice you want to prolong the note, then you now bring it down and make it slower. That's an effect. Mm. I said that. And make sure your, your vibrato does not jack. Let me show you a jacking vibrato. Okay. It has to, amount has to oscillate. That you have to be on beat. That's how you practice with the metronome. Yeah. So you go, wow, 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 If it's wow, 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 you're going. Keep it consistent. Why did I slow that vibrato down? Because I know I'm going to most likely prolong it for that long. Is that okay? Yeah. So I go. Can you have fast that vibrato? But it's not as fast as that. It can never be that fast. So is that? To slow there, so that is, I started with ah, towards the end, just like a professional singers we like uh, to do. So, it has to be balanced. You should add dynamics to your vibrato. When do you want it slow? When do you want it high? That is what we have come to show you in this class. And I think we've done just it. But before we go, I want to ask to do a song and let's hear how she's going to apply her vibrato. Let's go. <laughs> I think Versax has just decided to just stay on the medium. Versax has just decided to stay just between that. Versax has just found a comfortable vibrato that she just vibrate all through her play. That's what you just did. Your vibrato is just on one single plane. 
Now, if I'm to do that same song and add different vibrato dynamics as a professional, I'm not saying that is not professional, <laughs> but she just decided to stay on that straight line and just begin how, 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 all through. But I have decided to add dynamics to my. I want to use my vibrato to even be part of my improvisation. Look at this. <laughs> You see that mm -hmm. I am deliberate about I want it slow, I want it very fast. Slow. You create that mood. You see that? You create that. That's landing and that takeoff and that's climax and then <laughs> See even the slow I'm putting it there because I want to create a mood Very fast Vibrato, slow vibrato, fast vibrato. You listen the dynamics? Yeah. So imagine if I begin to play now. I will see those deliberate vi using vibrato now as a tool for improvisation. I don't even know what to title this, whether to title it type for vibrato or how you can use vibrato. Okay. The dynamics of you know uh, vibrato to create your scenes. Just imagine if, uh, the leaks. I some of the leaks I've taught from Kekwalo. You hear? <laughs> if you don't add vibrato to your leaks, it's going to sound. It's going to sound like who is playing that? What makes Kekwalo playing? And you know that he's the one. Is most likely the, his apply, application of what vibrato. Is that okay? Yeah. You see, that is when we teach vibrato in the advanced class. We are not teaching it as all yeah, 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 yeah. We are not teaching it as how to make it slow, when to apply it, and even use it to what to tell your story. For example, I want to I want to do a song that says, "Your grace, your grace, I'm nothing without you." That's the way I, I can decide to play it short, short notes. Mm. <laughs> I have to make it fast because I decided to cut short. But if I want to play that, I almost like it come down. But if you see that. So you need to use it to create your own story. I think we are done with this class, yeah. Sax. So what do you have to say, Sax? I think All I'm done. Alright, guys. If you want to sponsor any of our videos, of course you can contact us. I'm very, very sure this class has really helped you a lot today. Me particularly, the class has really uh, taught me a lot of things. So I'm going to go ahead and be deliberate about the application of my uh, different types of uh, vibrato all right guys and if you want to sponsor this any video at all just contact us so guys if you have not subscribed and you're watching this video right now please hit that notification bell subscribe to this uh, channel and share to friends share to everybody so that i will know that of course you are enjoying our class and you want us to continue in this channel all right guys see you in our next class bye